Hi folks, Mel here. I'm going to come and share with you Lancelot's Junk Journal. Uh, most of you ladies um, who watch me all the time know that I've been collecting kitty cat stuff. And of course, it's really difficult to find a cat that looks just like yours. And of course, I'm biased because he's mine and I love his face. But you ladies rock. I just have to give a big shout out and say thank you, you ladies rock, between my friend Lucretia and Amy for giving me things, to Jeannie Louise, to Ninju Does Crafts, to uh, Dina Paneski, and um, gosh, let me think, Ginger, uh, Virginia Connor, then there's Virginia Story, then there's Cat Carbone, and... I mean, the list, oh, and Kim Gordon and Tina Kappa. I mean, you ladies have just given me, and if I did not mention you, I am so sorry because there's so many things in this book that have been gifted throughout this last few months to make this book possible. So besides the photos and the covers and the spiral, I think everything in here was gifted. So I just want to say thank you, um, because now I can actually start Lancelot's Junk Journal. Now it is not finished. Of course, it's kind of finished. It just I just need to put more pictures in it and um, do a couple more things, but I wanted to share with you what I've been doing all day. I did use my um, Wear Memory Keepers cinch machine here, and I did tie and kind of sew the two pieces of the spirals closed so that nothing will ever fall out. And I kind of liked how it looked. So I did do that. I used old covers from a different journal that I got in clearance at Michael's that was actually a cat journal, but I just didn't like it, the cover. Um, I did create a closure here with this ribbon that was also gifted to me. Um, there wasn't much of it, but it was perfect the amount for that. Now, I kind of goofed on my cover. The covers and the back cover are gifted to me from Amy. This is authentic paper, and it's beautiful. Um, what I did was I kind of goofed. I meant to put a cover page because this was empty right here so I could put a picture of my cat. And then when I built the book, I realized I didn't. But the first page actually had this. It says, and my cat loves me. And I laughed and said, it couldn't have been more perfect. But when you open it, it says, I love my cat and my cat loves me. So I thought that was funny. And granted, this is my first junk journal I've ever made. So I hope you like it because, you know, like I said, <laughs> I'm biased. I love my cat, so I think it's cute. Um, I haven't done anything to the inside of this yet. I will. Um, but this is a little pocket here. And I cut out some sticker, or I, I cut out some hearts, and then I had a sticker here that says Cat Lover on a collar. And, of course, this cut apart came from the authentic paper that Amy gifted me. Just loved that. Um, you get into this page here, and here's a pocket here. And, of course, this came from last year's, um, I think it's Doodle Bug. It says we are the perfect blend. And that's just a little cut apart in that pocket. And then I put some tags in here, and I had some Graphic 45 um, Raining Cats and Dogs stamps. So this one says, all you need is love and a cat. Of course, I will probably journal on those. I did stamp that here as well. Kind of messed up, but it didn't matter. Stamped it here as well. And here's the first picture of my fur monster. And, of course, it says, the face I love. Is he not cute? I love his face. This is some art that I did. It was one of those, you know, coloring books. Had the cat, and I sat and colored it one night, and I thought, you know, I'm just going to add it in here. I thought it would be kind of fun. Here's a fun cut apart from Bo Bunny a long time ago. It says, cool cat. These are these pockets that were from Smashbox, Smashbook or something like that that came from Tuesday mornings. It says, goodness inside, and I put a paw print sticker here. Haven't put anything in there yet. Uh, this side has a pocket with I love Mew, and it says, cats teach us a lot of things, but none more important than to love unconditionally, and I just love that. Just love it. Over here, of course, I have these popped up so I can slide things underneath if I want. Use a lot of these little pop pad stickers. This one says, keep calm and cuddle your pets daily. And of course, here's another picture of my fur monster right there. I was building a three-tiered box cake and he had to just plop right in front of me. Of course, it says spoiled rotten. Of course, because he is. This is actually one of these little bags that I got from Tuesday mornings. I won't open it, but there's some cut aparts in there. This is from the authentic paper I just fussy cut out. So just kind of blank. I still need to, you know, as I go, I'll add more to it. Um, a lot of these pages are doubled just because I wanted them to be thick. This one again pops up and it says, Cats, cats, you can always find hope in their eyes. Some more journaling pages. Here's another uh, pocket here. I stamped C is for cat. And I had some of that Halloween paper left over and I just created a cute little clothespin for that. It says, Home is where my cat is. 
Over here, another side pocket says, as every cat owner knows, nobody owns a cat. Another Graphic 45 stamp and then a sticker from the Authentique that says Cat Lover. Love these papers. I just thought it'd be fun to do it offset. This one was when he was being naughty, and if you can see. Now, keep in mind, those are those 10-inch um, canisters that are clear, and they're stacked. So that's 20 inches, and look how giant he is. It doesn't look so big in the picture, but he's huge. But look at his face, and that's why it says busted, because he was naughty that day. He was on the bookshelf and wasn't supposed to be up there. So this is the authentic paper. Of course, it's plain. I love these metal stickers that say, here, kitty. And this was some vintage paper that Kat sent me that I loved. It was like notebook paper or um, notepad paper. And then this was also gifted. It says, be more like a cat. Always land on your feet. Take naps. Ask for what you need. Play loudly if necessarily. Ba bask in the sun when you can. Claim the best seat for yourself. Be curious. You're the king of your castle. Watch birds and butterflies. Walk with your head held high. Be alert. Enjoy the little things. Have a mind of your own. Ignore those who bother you or eat them alive. <laughs> Is that not cute? I had to put that in there. Um, a lot of euphemera in this book because you ladies just, like I said, sent me so many fun things. I love this vintage image of the kitties playing because my Lancelot does this. He will get under the rug and pretend to play hide and seek like I don't see him. And of course, I can see this big mountain under the rug and I'll go, Lancey, Lancey, where are you? And he will like scurry his butt further into the rug. Like I can't see him. It's the funniest thing. So this one says playtime is the best time. Of course, I'm going to journal that in here somewhere. Um, happy tales journaling card. This one says I work hard so my cat can have a better life, which is so true. And another one of those smash book uh, pockets here. Look how beautiful he is. There's my little Lancey. <laughs> well, not little, but you know. I love this authentic paper. Again, this one just pops up again. It says, some some things just fill your heart without trying. Here's another fun pocket page. There's a tag in there. It says, love. This came from Ninju. She made a cute little card and put these cute little kitty stickers on it. And I've kept it because I just, I love it. So that just goes in my little pocket there. And this side right here, I used a cute little piece here and did a side pocket. It says, I love my cat. And then this stamp that Tina Kappa gifted me, it says, I may be difficult, but I'm cute. And look how cute he was when he was little, you guys. Isn't he just darling? So here's some more fun art that I had. Someone had stamped out this image to me with the witch and the cat on the broom, and I colored it. And I wrote, here, kitty. <laughs> um, and that's just a fun little flap here. This one says, I love my cat. This is that bow bunny paper. And look at Lancey next to the tree. If you can see really closely, it's kind of blurry. But he's next to the tree with his little antlers on at home. It's so cute. This says, there is no such thing as just a cat. Now, these were gifted to me from Jeannie, these cute little kitty cats. Oh, gosh, so cute. I had to put that in there. And here's another one of those pockets, and I put it up a little higher because I think I'm just going to put tags. It'll just go to the top of the book. Um, look at that sticker. <laughs> is that not cute? So here, again, with that fun paper that Cat gave me, and look at Lancey's face. He's so pretty. It says, cats rule, dogs drool, with all the audience of cats underneath. Love it. Here's some washi tape here. It says, meow, meow, meow. I love this. It says, got kitty. <laughs> Is that not funny? Here's another one here that pops up, and it says, cat, a cat, the only thing on earth that loves you more than itself. And then over here, again, my sweet boy. <clears throat> Look at him. That was when he was actually pretty little. It says, what part of meow don't you understand? And this is a bag. And what I did was I created it a pocket. And this cut apart says, you you say cat crazy like it's a bad thing. And look at the cute. So there's graphic, or the raining cats and dogs that came from Kim Gordon. All kinds of fun things. And inside the bag has gifted me a fun, cute little ephemera stamped card that came from Olive Burnett. And over here, this also came from Olive Burnett. Is that not awesome? That's It's embossed. I loved it. Loved this kitty cat image where the, the lady is in the tree. I think you can see that. And then the kitty, she's got all the babies and the baby, and he's down there going, let me up there, let me up there. It's so cute. Love this one. This is probably my favorite paper image out of the entire collection. I just, I thought this is really cute, the giant ball of yarn. And then there's my Lancey again. It says, I love my cat. And I do, obviously. It's a blank. Now, my friend Lucretia gave me this card, and it is so cute. It says, Happy Valentine's Day, and it looks like Lancelot, except for his eyes. So I actually am going to go over that with some alcohol ink markers just to blue his eyes a little bit more. But you open it up and it says, You're in my chair. And look, it's a daily struggle. Look at him and his giant teddy bear in my chair. See what I'm saying? 
It's an everyday thing, folks. And then during Operation Valentine's, I get this card. It says, to mom slash Mel. And I thought, huh? And look at this. Someone made me a card from Lancey. So very sweet. And I forgot who had gifted it because I put it in with my envelope and there was no... S oh, it is signed on the back. Oh, yay. It is signed on the back. I'm so awesome about that. I'm so glad it's signed on the back. But I kept it because I thought it was super cute. So we get to this page. I love this paper. Love, love, love. I think this is from Rosa Kelly. She, um, she said it was from Anna Griffin at Joann's and it's just so cute. And I used quite a bit of it there too and here. Um... And this washi tape is just so cute. Now, that didn't come from Rosa, but cute washi tape. This cut apart says, some of my best friends never say a word to me. Well, I can't say that with Lancelot because he talks to me all the time. So, of course, I made a paper clip embellishment with that cute kitty from Jeannie and my little stamp on the back. This is an envelope. This is the envelope that actually went to the Valentine's Day card that I decided to go ahead and use. And I just created a pocket and put some journaling pages in there just so I have some extra journaling. Another one of these cute papers from Kat, some more journaling. And then this says, this is what I know. My cat loves me conditionally. Purring means we are both content. Meow means yes and no. I am not in charge. Never make a cat wait. The best toys are free. Cats don't need us. We need them. And I loved it. And I love this paper because it's cat scratches. <laughs> Isn't that cute? This page is, cats are not our whole life, but they make our life whole. And I love that this is super cute too. So super fun. Here's another bag embellishment here or another bag piece here. And of course I made it into another pocket that says the cat's meow on this tag. And an inside of here is Lancelot's friends. So here's Clovis and this is my friend Barbie sent. This is Lancey's little girlfriend and she's a little shaker. And so those go in here because I do attach Lancey's little friends in there. He's got a couple more. I just have to kind of find where I put them. Some more of that authentic paper again. Just love this. Here he is, like I said, hiding underneath the rug. See what I'm saying, folks? He's funny. It says, always time for a cat nap. And look at this cute bow bunny paper of the cat trees. Isn't that great? So this is just a little flip here. And then here's a pocket with a journaling card in there or a photo mat. Here it again. I love this paper. And then look how cute. So I didn't really do much to the back two pages, but here it is. Home is where the cat hair sticks to everything except the cat. And it's also popped up so I can put some more goodies in there. But then again, there's the back. So nothing super duper fancy. I do like that I did that because then I can close the book and nothing, it'll never come out again. So yay. Um, but thanks for letting me show this with you folks. And I wanted to give a big thank you to everyone who is um, gifted me so many fun cat things. I do make things from what I've been gifted and I wanted you to see what I made. Um, I do plan on making more for him. I don't plan on not having him any time. I mean, I plan on having him for the next 10 plus years at le or longer, hopefully. So um, I'd like to make one of these every year for him. And it is difficult to find cat things. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope you love my junk journal and I do plan to make more. So thanks for coming, folks, and have a blessed day.